Hi guys, welcome to my channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is an automation test framework as well as what are the different types of automation frameworks and then I am going to discuss about the basic framework architecture. Okay, later I will discuss about data driven framework along with the page object model integration. Okay, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and also please drop a like for this video which will really helps me a lot to do more videos in upcoming days as well. Okay, let's get started our today video that is what is an automation test framework. Okay, so here uh, a framework is a plan and approach which is defined by the management that will explain how to develop and manage automation test cases belongs to a project okay framework means it is nothing but a plan and nothing but an approach so this plan and approach defined by the management okay where that will explain about how to develop and manage automation test cases belongs to any project okay that is called as framework in simple words an automation framework is a okay an automation framework is a i mean having some protocols at the same time having some procedures and also having some guidelines to follow okay so these are all defined by an automation expert okay these are all defined by an automation expert for developing and managing our automation programs belongs to any projects Okay, in simple words, we can call an automation framework is a high level uh, plan and also we can tell it as a set of protocols and set of standards and set of procedures which are defined by an automation expert for developing and managing the automation programs which are belongs to a project. Okay, and also there is one document, the document name is framework document. That document will explain about the coding standards and also the document will explain you about the project structure and also the doc document will explain you about where to main our test data and also the document will uh, teach you about where to maintain the test cases and how to produce the test reports. That document is called as framework document. Okay, that particular framework document will explain. Okay, it will explain about some coding standards. Here coding standard means, so for example, there is a small logic. So for that particular small logic, I am writing more than 10 lines. Right? So and at the same time, I am defining my test data inside my script as a hard-coded values. Okay, so these are all comes under some coding standards we have to follow. At the same time, there are some standard way which we need to follow. At the same time, the project structure, the framework structure, how we are going to design. So these details which will explain from the document that is called as framework document. Okay, coming to different types of automation frameworks. Okay, as we know already, there are different types of automation frameworks we can use while we are doing automation okay so the first one here is test ng framework and then data driven framework and then keyword driven framework later hybrid driven framework and page object model so here page object model is not at all a framework it is just a design pattern but we can integrate this page object model with the help of data driven framework as well as for hybrid framework okay we can integrate this page object model to any kind of framework what you are developing okay so now let me discuss about this what i am showing to you currently let me discuss about this particular uh, automation uh, framework architecture i mean automation framework architecture it is a basic framework architecture what i am discussing with you now okay so here you can see okay here you can see uh, there is a selenium webdriver script okay here we can see in the middle we have selenium webdriver script okay so the execution okay the execution of the scripts will starts based upon the selenium webdriver script it is a central repository first of all to execute all our test cases right so that's the reason why the execution of our scripts will starts based upon the selenium webdriver script 
ओके एंड इट विल टेक द यू आर एल फ्रम द एनविरांट फोलडर ओके इन सैड दिस एनविरांट फोलडर वि हेव क्रियेटेड वन फैल दट फैल नेम इज डाट प्रापर्टी फैल दट ईज एनविरांट डाट प्रापर्टी फैल इन सैड दिस एनविरांट डाट प्रापर्टी फैल ई एम गोइंग टू स्टोर मई अप्लीकेशन यू आर एल एज वेल एज ई एम स्टोरिंग मई क्रेडेंशियल एज वेल एज ई एम स्टोरिंग मई on which browser i want to run and also i am storing my database credentials as well as database url so these kind of information i am going to store it into one folder that folder name is environment folder inside this environment folder i am going to create one file that is called as environment dot properties file where i am storing all my application urls and db urls application credentials and db credentials and also there are some browsers on which browser i want to launch my application okay this kind of data i am storing inside my properties file that file is located under or inside one folder that is called as environment folder right so this particular selenium web driver script repository will take input from the environment folder to launch my application right so in the test cases okay so after we are providing input to our selenium web driver script it will launch our application so later what we are going to do later what we are going to do we are providing input to our selenium web driver script okay we are providing one folder input that is called as test case folder right so this test case folder will contain all the test cases and we are going to store it into this particular test case folder right and then this test cases okay these test cases will take data from two folders or you can use only one folder if you want okay so that is test data folder and object repository folder that is either we can call it as test data or object repository folders okay once if you launch your application with the help of environment.properties file then we are going to execute our scripts right so the, those scripts are coming from the test case as an input to the selenium web driver script okay in my test cases i am uh, providing some inputs where i am going to enter into my application those kind of inputs details i am storing in i mean test data details i am storing into test data folder or we can call it as object repository folder right so once it is done we are going to execute our scripts now so with the help of jenkins we are going to schedule our jobs to execute okay with the help of jenkins okay with the help of jenkins we are going to execute the test scripts based upon the time right so here jenkins means what it is a continuous integration tool means the main advantage of jenkins here is we can uh, like we can schedule our jobs which means time scheduling so whenever i want to execute my scripts this jenkin will automatically execute all your jobs with the concept of which one with the concept of time scheduling okay once this execution got completed so the results will come and store inside one folder that is called as test results folder and this test results folder will contains the result as pass or fail right this test results folder will contains the result as pass or fail with the entire test scripts okay whatever we are executing for example 50 test cases i am executing after the completion of execution from jenkins so we are getting some test results for all the 50 scripts how many are pass and how many are fail so this information is going to stored into one folder that is called as test for test results folder okay so once that is done we are going to generate some reports for example i am using extend reports or elu reports okay we are going to capture or we are going to store all the reports inside a folder that is called as reports folder either it is extend report or either it is elu report or any kind of report okay so we are going to store inside this particular folder that folder name is here reports folder if any test script got failed for example there is third test case is failing 
out of 50 test cases so i will capture the screenshots for failed methods as well okay it will automatically capture the screenshot then that screenshot i am going to store it into one folder that folder name here is screenshots folder so this is how a basic automation framework architecture will looks like okay this is how a basic automation framework architecture will looks like okay so now let me open our eclipse so where i am going to show you how we can create a data driven framework from scratch level along with the folders okay along with the folders and then here i am using a concept called as page object model as my design pattern right as my design pattern okay we can correlate with the basic framework architecture what we have discussed so far then we can understand it easily okay so so the first step where we are starting as per this diagram okay first let me create a project here so how we can create click on file and click on new i am using here maven project okay so just click on project and go to maven under the maven folder you can see one maven project option click on next okay click on next and then create a sample project and this is my default workspace location and click on next so here i am entering uh, my project name that is group id and artifact id as the same that is data driven so that we don't have we will don't we don't get any confusion while creating okay data driven framework and data driven framework okay framework so this is my project name okay you can see here it got created one project that is called as data driven framework okay as it is a maven project we no need to add any dependencies by clicking on right clicking on our project going to build path and configuring the build part we no need to do like that because ours is maven project so how we can add our jar files inside this particular maven project means so how we can add we will get one file one file that is called as pom.xml file that is palm.xml file which is the main main place or heart of the maven project okay it is the heart of the maven project where we are going to add all our project related dependency tag files into this palm.xml file okay let me open this palm.xml file and we will see okay this is our palm.xml file if i want to okay if i want to add any dependency like if i want to add selenium jar file if i want to add testing jar file if i want to add apache pi jar file if i want to add any kind of like to capture the screenshot there is one dependency that is a short dependency so if i want to add all those dependency tags means we are going to add under palm.xml file so how we can add i mean how we can add all those dependencies into our palm.xml files means so for that you can open your edge browser okay you can open your edge browser and click on maven repository okay and type maven repository and type maven repository okay and type maven repository and click on the first link maven repository here i am going to search which means this is a central repository from central repository to local repository we are going to add our dependency files or tags okay so first let me uh, search for selenium we will see okay here you can see selenium java click on this one and then simply you can add your dependency file here from here so let me take the latest version as 4. Dot, uh, i can take 1.1 1 .1. for example i am taking 4.1.1 .1. if you are not using maven project you no need to search for any other site to download the jar files in this particular maven repository only you will get in the both the formats that is you can see here there is one file that is called as jar file you can download it from here as well but i am using maven project i will just copy the dependency tag file from here and let me save inside our eclipse i mean let me add into our eclipse part okay so for that how we can add let me create one tag name that is called as dependencies under the dependencies tag we are going to have this tag name that is called as selenium if you can see here bottom it is downloading 
from central repository to local repository if i say local repository means all the downloaded jar files will store it into one folder that is called as dot m2 folder okay that is going to store into dot m2 folder so now i am going i am not going to discuss about anything about these dependencies what are the remaining thing because it is uh, consuming my time okay so now we have created one maven project here so i have just shown you how to add dependency files so likewise if you want apache pi if you want test and if you want extend reports if you want to add a dependency dependency for capturing the screenshot if you want to add any dependencies for loggers you can directly go to maven repository and search for the desired thing then you can directly copy and paste into your palm.xml file that is the actual process if you are using maven project if you are not using maven also we can directly click on this particular okay we can directly click on this particular which one uh, there is one option right there is one option that is called as jar somewhere i saw yeah you can directly download it from here if you are not using maven project okay so now let me go back to our eclipse okay so here we are getting src main folder src test folder and target folder so by default you will get all these options okay so now as per our diagram what is our first step here so our first step is environment dot properties file where i am storing my key and values that is what is my url and what is my url value what is my uh, username what is my username value and what is my password and what is my password value like key and value format okay so for that let me create a project here okay for that let me create a project that is our first step here okay that is our first step so how we can create so new go to new and create a folder here first create a folder and create a folder here so what is our folder name you can mention that is if it is environment you can mention the same so likewise we can define all our properties okay so for now i can give it as configuration okay i am giving it as configuration okay so this is about configuration folder so where i am going to store my properties file so how we can create means just right click on the created folder and go to new and click on the file okay provide the file name as i am mentioning here configuration what is the extension of properties file that is dot properties right that is dot properties okay so click on finish then it will automatically add your file here so for example url equals to that is https google.com https www dot okay https google.com for example no problem we can mention like that okay https www dot google.com okay for example this is my url and based upon my key i am going to launch my application okay so this is our first step to launch our application so then what is our next step okay then what is our next step i want to read this particular value okay i want to launch my browser right so for that i have to read the value present inside this properties file how we can uh, where we can write that piece of code means okay where we can write so let me create one folder here okay let me create one folder that is configuration we have created already here you can see configuration is there and let me create a package here okay let me create a package here so that we will create a class to read the data present inside our properties file right to read the data available present inside this particular properties file so how we can create means just right click on your maven folder and create a new package it is a maven project we have to follow the same structure here that is com dot okay that is com dot i can mention here regression for example what is a project name i can mention here uh, amazon okay amazon that is my project name and what is the folder name generics okay so generics means we can add all our reusable methods as well as we can create some uh, methods where we are uh, using some details which are related to our project for example uh, configuration related details and also for example db uh, related details so those and all information we can uh, mention inside our generics class 
right so for that let me create one more class here okay for that let me create one more class here that class name here is i can mention generics okay generics class okay so in this class i can write a logic for this uh, to read this values from configuration dot properties file okay so that is the purpose of this particular class what i have created here okay this my package must and should be present inside src main java folder sorry it is a package right src main package okay so under that we have created one package that is called as com dot regression dot amazon dot generics is my package name under that i have created a class right under that i have created a class inside this particular class i am going to write a logic to read the data present inside my configuration file at the same time i can create a method for i can create a method for uh, browsers as well based upon the browser i am going to call that particular method for example if i want to execute my browser like if i want to execute my scripts on edge browser i will create one more separate class here with the help of interface at the same time if i want to create one more uh, class for browser that is chrome browser you can create one more class here with the help of interface okay how i can create means for example let me create a class here again that is for chrome browser for example chrome browser okay chrome browser and this is also for firefox okay firefox firefox browser so likewise we can create how many class i mean how many browsers if you are executing those many we can create here at the same time we are going to update the same values here as well inside our properties field saying that browser equals to for example edge browser okay in the future if you want to execute on chrome browser you can just directly come and change here okay so we can do in this way so for that reason only i have created uh, these many classes under generics folder okay so this is uh, done okay so based upon the inputs okay based upon the inputs okay we just now we have set up everything regarding to our application launch where we are storing our application url and browser related information okay so that's the reason why i have created one package here under that i have mentioned all the classes here okay so then what is our next step okay what is our next step means now i am going to write some uh, i am going to uh, write some common functionalities right i am going to create some common functionalities okay i am going to write some common functionalities such as click operation or send keys operation okay for example i can mention here uh, properties okay we can create all these methods here properties reading uh, method we can create this method and also we can create send keys method and also we can create each one and also we can create uh, Mm, actions okay we can automate actions uh, class okay automate okay keyboard and mouse operations one second key keyboard and mouse operations okay keyboard and mouse operations after that i can create a method for a uh, drop down handling Okay, after that i can create a method for handling the alerts and also for click action and also for double click okay and also for which one and also for i can create one more method for uh, window handling so these are all the methods we are creating under our generics class so one is for reading the properties file and the remaining methods for send keys method and also we can write even for uh, capturing the screenshot as well capturing screenshots okay capturing screenshot method as well as we can uh, create many methods where we are performing uh, i mean where we are frequently using all these methods like throughout our framework i can uh, uh, throughout my application i can click on the web elements i can double click on the web elements i can handle the windows i can uh, capture the screenshots for failed methods 
and also I can handle the drop downs. So these are all the common actions we can consider. So that's the reason why I am adding inside our generics class. Right? That's the reason why I am adding inside our generics class. Right? So next, what is our next step here? Once it is done. Okay, once it is done, now I am ready with my uh, prop, uh, environment related code that is as properties reading method and also I have created a separate class for mention the common classes and also I have created separate classes for launching my application on different browsers so then what is our next step so next our step main step here is we are going to use some pattern that is called as page object model design pattern right page object model design pattern so for that what I am going to do now I am creating one more package here in the same way you have must and should you have to follow the framework folder structure in the same way only com dot regression dot amazon dot pages okay so pages so now I am using here page object model design pattern so how that page object model design pattern will work means we are segregating all the pages into different different classes by creating different different classes for example there is a login page i can create one page here under com dot regression dot amazon dot packages right i can create one pa uh, one uh, which one one page that is called as uh, which one let me create a class here that is for which one that is amazon login page i can mention for example amazon login page this is my class right so after that once login page got completed what is our next step here i am going to my amazon home page right amazon home page okay once it is done what i am doing i am going to uh, product description page if i want to if i selected any product means okay i am going to see that particular product details right so for that also i am creating one uh, class that is called as product okay product description page right product description page so once product description page got completed i am going to create one more page for which one one more page for sorry one more page for which one after product description page got completed what is our next step i am going to add this particular product into my cart right so that is for amazon amazon cart page right amazon cart page so here you can observe i am not taking any public static void mini here method here okay so then click on finish now after cart page got completed what is our next step i am going to create one more class for payment page right proceed to pay for example right amazon payment page i can mention here amazon payment page this is my one more after that place order page so likewise if you are following the page object model means we have to follow everything in a sequential way okay in a sequential way that is this one amazon uh, after payment page so after that what we are doing uh, that is order page right amazon place order page after payment what we are doing we are placing our order so for that also i have created one page here okay so in this particular login page we are going to write our login function here and once the login page got completed if you want to add any assertions okay i will tell you how we can make assertions after the explanation of the page level so once that is done home page on the home page what are all the different actions you are performing you can create all the methods inside this home page class okay and then once home page got completed what is our next step that is product description page right so you can write the logic under this particular product description page means we are writing i mean we are creating for all the pages we are creating different different classes for each and every page that is called as page object model we are creating we are segregating all the page 
pages into different different java class files right so that's the reason why we are creating this one so once pages got completed then what is our next step here then what is our next step our next step is creating our actual tests right creating our actual tests okay so how we can create so that tests will comes under okay that tests must and should be present up inside our src test java folder okay that will present under src test java package folder okay that particular test what we are going to write right that actual test so those and all will comes under okay those and all will present inside our src test package folder right that is comes under src test package folder okay so how we can create means the same way we can create so how we created for main methods okay i mean how we can create for uh, pages we are creating in the same way for example uh, let me create one package here for tests that is the naming convention should be always the same com dot what is our package name that is called as regression okay regression dot for example if i can mention here uh, it is related to home page related test cases okay that is related to home page test uh, home page related test cases so how we can mention com dot home pa uh, com dot regression dot home page right com dot regression dot home page dot tests okay so here you can see this is a naming convention we have to follow okay so this is our one package name okay so inside this home page tests package i have all the test cases which are related to the home page for example you can consider it as a module okay inside this particular home page package test package i am going to create one class that is called as for example i can mention here uh, test case test case 1 2 3 4 okay it is my one test case okay in the same way i am going to create one more test case so likewise we can have different different modules right if you can observe any web application so we have login page we have something something different right so four five six seven okay so likewise we can create the test cases which are are, re are related to the all are related to the home page domain or home page module sorry so we can store all these here so in the same way if you have any other modules we can create all those packages under src test package only okay this is our the next step okay pages we have created and then we have created tests test package for each and every module okay so if i want to test this particular home page test means that is a home page i am doing some verification okay so for that also we can create one more package here that will comes under src main package only okay that is i will uh, tell here as com dot com dot regression dot regression dot amazon okay amazon dot which one i can mention which one amazon dot validations right amazon dot uh, validations i can mention here right amazon dot validations okay amazon dot validations so in this particular amazon dot validations again i will create okay again i will create what i will create one more class to perform the validations right once if i added any product to my uh, cart means there will uh, if i once if i place any order means you will get some message right uh, thank you your order got placed it will deliver on the so on so period so that message i am going to verify right so for that reason only we are going to create again the classes here so on the login page if i want to verify that is login sorry right yeah so inside this i am creating one separate class right so let me check for the naming convention here how i created yeah so this is also the same way okay so that is class only right that is amazon login page validations okay amazon login page validation so i can create all the validations at page level only okay so then what is our next page home page right that is amazon home page validation 
validation okay amazon home page validation so likewise we can create for all the pages for validations as well okay so now amazon which one next amazon home page done and product pdp validations okay pdp validations so what we can verify on that particular pdp validation means whether the description is available or not for that given product or whether the uh, cost is available or not whether the color is available or not whether it is in stock or not whether it is out of stock or what so we can validate all those under we can create methods to do all those actions so this particular validations package will uh, only for writing the methods at page level this is for home page validations i can write all the validation methods here which are related to home page i can write all the methods which are doing some validations on login page okay i can uh, create methods for product description validation page as well under pdp validation class right so now we have created so far we have created our pages here what are the different pages we have and then we have created tests that is home page test that you can consider it as one module so after creating the test we are doing some validations as well right so for that reason i have created some uh, page level classes only for example if i am doing a home page validation what are all we can validate on the home page i can create class accordingly if i am doing any validation on login page we can create class accordingly if i am doing validation on PDP value, I mean product description page means I can add all the methods inside this particular class. Okay, so once it is done, okay, now we are ready. So how we can call this inside our class means with the help of object creation. Okay, for all these classes, we are going to create an object saying that Amazon cart page page equals to new Amazon cart page. For test case 1, 2, 3, 4, I am telling. Okay, for test case 1, 2, 3, 4, what is the scenario means? I am going to place some product that is my actual scenario for this particular test case so for that what we will uh, from which uh, page we will start first that will start from login page that is amazon login page create an object amazon login equals to new amazon login page With the help of object reference variable that is amazon login i am going to call all the methods present inside my amazon login page into my actual test case that is one two three four saying that how we can i am just showing you now amazon login page login page equals to new amazon login page so so likewise i have created an object here sorry likewise i have created an object here so in the same way we can create all the objects for each and every page based upon our given scenario okay so likewise you can just copy uh, i mean you can modify okay login page is done after that home page is also done so these will comes under globally only so later i am going to create my actual test methods that is at the rate test annotation that is public void for example i am telling pub at how we can create i am i am showing you now public void that is for setup method for example where i am going to launch my browser so once it is done i am going to create one more method for login right that is public void login okay login okay so how we can uh, write with the help of login page object reference right so i guess i did not mention any space here let me provide some space okay so likewise i can mention if that is login page if that is home page so with the help of this object reference i am going to call the method which is available okay which is available inside my dot if you can put so what are all the methods available inside our login page it will automatically show inside our class so this is how we can create all the methods okay so this is how we can create our actual test cases in terms of page object model but i am not showing you very much clear because i am i just want to explain you the framework architecture so that's why i am not showing about this coding part okay so once it is done now we have created our pages so successfully we have created uh, validations as well and then we have created our actual tests okay and then we have created our actual test so once 
your test cases got completed so how we can execute with the concept of what the concept of testng.xml file so now let me convert it to testng okay now let me convert it to testng and we will see just go to your testng.xml file here we can see in this way we can convert our testng.xml file right so here you can see classes okay classes under classes this is my package name that is this uh, these are all our actual tests right that is for one two three four so if you have any other tests also you can directly add the same as well here that is one two three four five for example after that one two three four six for example after that if you have any other test case you can add like this so these are all we converted into our actual test cases into testng.xml file okay how we can convert means right click on your project convert to testng.xml go to testng option convert to uh, convert to testng so then it will automatically give you the testng.xml file so inside our classes tag we are mentioning here uh, all our actual class names okay so if you are not following any priorities here so by default it testng will execute all your methods by alphabetical order right so if you don't want to mention the uh, priorities for all your test methods means you can directly go to your testng.xml file and you can add one tag name here so how we can add means that is methods methods and then you can mention one tag inside this methods tag name that is include okay include name equals to so what is my method name that is login for example okay that is login for example okay that is login for example then for example i am telling okay include name equals to this one and this is for home page so whatever the test methods we have inside your actual test case you can mention accordingly inside your testng.xml file here you can see i have mentioned here right in the same way we can mention for example i am telling go to your testng.xml file and let me update this one okay in this way we have to create our actual testng.xml file here you can see for one test case i have defined all my methods here in the same way if we have any other test case also we can mention okay so in the same way we can mention how many number of test cases you have inside your test package so now we have done with this one as well so now i want to generate some reports right so i want to generate some reports after execution of all my test cases i want to capture the screenshots if there are any failures and i want to generate some extent report for example so we are going to create the i mean create a class under our main folder only by creating one separate package that package name here is com dot regression right com dot regression dot okay amazon dot extent extent reports okay extent reports this is my package name okay where i am going to create one class for okay that is for extent reports amazon extent reports i can mention here okay amazon extent reports in this particular amazon extent reports we are going to write the program or writing the code for capturing or generating the generating the extent reports right generating the extent reports so in the same code only we are defining okay we are defining the path where exactly i want to store my extent report right i want to store my extent report okay so we are generating the extent reports mean we are writing the code writing the code for 
generating extent report okay generating extent report here we are writing one code so after that at the same time we are defining the path where exactly i want to store my extent report right so i want to store my execution report into some folder right so the path we are defining in the same class only while gen while creating the code okay so once that is done so i am creating one folder here that is called as reports folder okay that is called as reports folder so where this reports folder is storing my generate i mean uh, storing my extent report after my execution right after execution my testng.xml file so i will get some report okay so that report how i am generating by create a class here that is amazon extent reports i am writing the logic for generating the extent reports at the same time i am writing some logic to store my report into some folder that folder here is reports folder right so in this way we can generate our report so and also i have forgotten one important thing here so for all these test cases we are providing some inputs right we are providing some inputs so that input data we are storing into some excel files right so in the same way we can create one more folder here that is called as excel files that is called as excel files because i am storing all my test data into excel files right so in the same way we are creating one more folder where that folder is containing the excel documents so after creating the excel files inside this for example if i am entering login username and password not login username or some test data i am providing uh, as input to my application right so that information i will store inside one excel sx document consider it as input test data document okay we have mentioned one file inside this folder so once if you mentioned some test data into your excel document so how we can read the data right so that code i am going to create under generics class only that is called as reading excel documents reading excel documents right so this reading excel documents will contain will contain logic to read the data from excel file okay where is our excel file located uh, excel file located located in which folder that is excel files folder right excel file located that is input test data for example input test data excel file located in excel files folder right excel files folder so that's the reason why like how we created for configuration or properties folder i mean file we have created one class here right inside generics class we have created one method properties reading method in the same way we have to create a method where that method will read the data from xlsx document or workbook and that method will provide you the input into your application for example pages if you go to any uh, pages okay that is payment page okay i am fetching some input from the excel document okay with the help of this reading xls documents class i am reading the test data present inside this excel files excel workbook then i am providing the input to my page that is called as amazon payment page if it is if you are providing any input for any other page that card page means that input is coming from the excel file document and we are creating code from read xml document or sorry reading excel document okay so this is how we can uh, create our data driven framework with the help of page object model design pattern so again let me explain you from scratch level so first what i did here i have created one uh, project that is called as data driven framework so then i have opened my pom.xml file here and i have added few dependency tags which are required for my project once that is done i have created first i have created one folder that is called as configuration folder where that folder is containing configuration.properties file where this properties file is containing all my uh, environment related details to my application okay once it is done 
so now what i want to do i want to read the data present inside this particular properties file so for that reason only i have created one package under src main java package folder so inside that i have created a class so where i have written a method here so this method will read the data present inside our properties file so once that is done i have created the common actions here that is send keys we can do on keyboard these are all methods so these methods are present inside the same class that is called as generics class right if i want to execute my scripts on different different browsers so that's the reason why i have created one separate separate classes for each and every browser right so once the browser is also done now i am going to create all the methods at page level right page level i am creating all the classes that is one class for Amazon cart page, one class for Amazon home page, one class for Amazon login page, one class for Amazon payment page and one class for Amazon place order page. So these pages will contain all the methods which are, I mean all the scenarios, for example, all the scenarios which are related to the place order page. Okay. We are creating all the methods all the scenarios okay we are creating methods for all the scenarios at page level only right so then if there are any validations again i am creating one more package here that is com dot regression dot amazon dot validations is my package name under that again i am validating at page level only by creating different different pages if i am validating something on login page i will create one login page validation inside this i will recreate a method create a method for validation on home on login page for example okay so likewise you can create how many number of validations you have at page level we can divide it right so once it is done we are going to our create our actual test cases that is under src test folder by creating this is one module you can consider i mentioned here as home page okay you can uh, mention here as module okay for each user story for example you can consider this as one user story so in this particular user story that is home page i have these many classes these are all test cases okay if i go to any one of the test case see see for to uh, to automate this particular test case i am logging in so for that i have created one class that is called as login page and after that login i am going to home page after home page i am going to product description page after that i am adding it to cart after that i am placing into i mean i am placing my order so these details we are creating the objects here we are creating all the class objects here with the help of each and every page object reference variable we are going to call the methods which are available on each and every page okay so likewise we are creating all the test cases once it is completed for generating the reports i have created one package under src main java folder so then i am going to create one class here that is called as amazon action report this amazon action reports class will contain to generate the reports the code for generating the extent reports at the same time i am defining the path where exactly i want to store my execution report so that is under my reports folder right so this is how we can build our page object model right data driven framework if it is data driven means i am using here excel files right so that's why i am capturing the data from xlsx document and also i am validating the test data from xlsx document only okay xls document only i am validating actual result which is coming from the ui and expected result i am storing into my xlsx files that wa that's why i am calling it as data driven framework along with the page object model design pattern once it is completed then directly right click on your project and run as maven test you can see here it will automatically execute all your test cases okay along with your testng.xml file if you don't want to execute your project with maven project means you can directly go to your testng.xml file and from there you can execute okay and from there you can execute okay and from there you can execute let me open uh, testng.xml file right 
where it went okay so this is our testing.xml file so these are all at suit level i am executing for example the suit name here is it is for regression okay this is for regression testing my suit name here is regression testing so likewise if you have sanity testing execution requirement you can create one dot uh, xml file if it is for smoke testing we uh, you can create one more dot xml file file for uh, smoke testing so if i want to execute all these three i mean sanity regression and smoke means i can create one more testing.xml file where i can mention all my testing.xml file i mean sanity.xml file regression.xml file and smoke uh, smoke.xml file i can add these three dot xml files into one single testing.xml file that is my final dot xml file where i can execute all these three dot xml files at a time if you don't know how to execute multiple testing.xml files at suit level means i have made one dedicated video already if you did not watch please check out my uh, channel and uh, go through that video which will really helps you a lot if you want to execute multiple test cases at suit level i mean multiple testing.xml files at suit level okay so i hope this particular video will help you a lot from my end but this is uh, where i want to show you like i just want to show you how the project framework i mean uh, framework project folder structure will looks like will looks like that is data data driven framework with page object model design pattern okay inside this page object model design pattern i can define my web elements with the help of at the right find by right at the right find by annotation and then followed by web element right web element okay i did not added my which one selenium right so that's why i'm not uh, getting an option to do this one web element to import okay so likewise we can add all our web elements at page level only okay so that's all it for now i hope i have provided enough knowledge for you how we can build our framework from scratch level if you want you can also follow the same way how i have created from scratch level so this is how actually in real time real time projects also following in the same way only if you check any other videos from youtube they will also follow the same approach what i have discussed currently but i have explained you everything in detail okay sorry i am little bit fast while explaining because the video length is becoming very lengthy so that's why i am speaking very little bit fast okay little bit i am uh, talking very fast okay sorry for that so that's all it for now i hope you people like this video if you like this video please drop a like and also please subscribe to my channel for more videos and also please share all our videos videos to your friends or colleagues so that they will also learn the concepts what we have discussed so far and your share will helps our video to recommend for more people okay so thank you so much guys till then take care everyone have a nice day signing off selenium tech automation we will connect with our upcoming videos okay thank you so much